Hi everyone, Miss Patsy here. Today we will be studying the fifth grade science book, Mixtures and Solutions, Investigation 5, Phys Quiz, Part 1, Chemical Reactions. Question, what is the effect of mixing two substances with water? Let's find out. Before we get started on our investigation, I wanted to go over some terminology. The first word is mixture. A mixture is when two or more substances are mixed together. It doesn't matter if those substances are solid or liquid, any two, any two or more substances mixed together makes a mixture. The next word is solution. A solution is a liquid mixture where a solute dissolves in a solvent to make a uniform homogeneous solution. Solutions are clear and transparent. The next one is chemical reaction. A chemical reaction is a process where a set of substances called reactants undergo a chemical change to form other substances called products. So let's get started with our investigation. For this investigation, we will be using baking soda, citric acid, calcium chloride, a funnel, filter papers, water, cups, stir sticks, evaporation dishes, our two substance data sheet, and our mixtures placement. First, let's get started with our three substances. Baking soda, citric acid, and calcium chloride are all soluble in water. So to prove that, I went ahead and dissolved one teaspoonful of baking soda in water. And you can tell that it made a clear solution. One teaspoonful of citric acid in 50 mLs of water also made a clear solution and a teaspoonful of calcium chloride in 50 mLs of water. All three of these made a solution with water. So that means that the um, solution made is clear and transparent. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what happens if we mix two of these substances with water. So I have my mixtures placement and my three cups and the directions on the bottom says in cup number one to mix one spoonful of calcium chloride, one spoonful of baking soda, and 50 mLs of water. So I'm going to go ahead and take one spoonful of calcium chloride, one spoonful of baking soda, and 50 mLs of water. stir. You can see that it is foaming. The instruction manual says that the cup should be getting warm, but I don't, I don't feel any warmth. And the cup doesn't feel any different than my other cups. Okay, so this mixture is 
So this mixture we know is not becoming a solution because it's not clear, maybe if we let it sit for a little while, but we do know it's a chemical reaction because gas is being released. So we know that the, the two substances mixed with water are having a chemical reaction because gas is being formed. So we'll let that sit a little bit and see if it forms a solution. And then we'll move on to cup number two. Now cup number two, it says to put in one spoonful of calcium chloride and one spoonful of citric acid. and 50 mLs of water. Stir that together. I don't see any fizzing or bubbling. but it does look like all the calcium chloride and citric acid has dissolved. And it is clear and transparent. So we have formed a solution. We just can't tell if there was a chemical reaction. Let's move on to cup number three. It says to add one spoonful of baking soda. one spoonful of citric acid and 50 mLs of water. Okay, we could tell immediately that there is a chemical reaction going on because we do have fizzing. So a gas is being formed. So in this one, it looks like everything has dissolved. So we did form a solution and there was a chemical reaction. So let's go back and look at cup number one. It's not a solution because it's not clear, but if you look on the side, you can tell that there are two lines. The line on the top is a liquid and the line on the bottom is solid. Solid particles that had fallen out of solution. What do you think that is? Do you think it's calcium chloride or baking soda that just never dissolved? Or do you think it's something totally different? Now remember in the beginning, I said that I had mixed baking soda with water and got a solution. I had also mixed calcium chloride with water and got a solution. And I also mixed the citric acid with water and got a solution. So we know that all three of these substances mixed with water fully dissolve in water and make a solution. Now, these are two of them mixed together with water, and we have solid on the bottom. When, we, when that happens, 
That's called a precipitate. So that solid precipitated out of that solution. That is a product of the chemical reaction. So we know in cup number one, we had a chemical reaction because we saw the gas bubbling. The solid particles on the bottom is called a precipitate or product of the chemical reaction. So the calcium chloride and baking soda and water got together they, as reactants, had a chemical reaction and formed a product on the bottom of this cup. Now the liquid in here, we don't know what that is either. That could also be a product. So what we're going to do is we're going to separate the liquid and the solid from cup number one and evaporate them to find out what they are. So let's do that next. So here we have our funnel, our filter paper, and a cup under on the bottom. I'm gonna pour in cup number one. So we can separate the solid from the liquid. You can see the solid collecting in the filter paper and the clear liquid coming out the bottom. Actually, it's not totally clear, so. That does mean that some of the particles are too small and are going through the filter paper. And once that's done, We'll take our evaporation dish and put some of this solid product on our evaporation dish. We'll let that dry. And we'll also put some of the liquid in an evaporation dish. Now the liquid you can see is clear and transparent. So the liquid is a solution once the solid has been filtered out. So let's look at our data sheet. What did we observe in cup number one? We observed gas formation because we saw bubbling and fizzing. We also observed that a precipitate was formed. And that was the solid that was on the bottom of the cup. In cup number two, we noticed that the substance is dissolved. but there was no other change.
So we really don't know if there was a chemical reaction. In cup number three, gas was formed. And substances dissolved. So in cups number one, we know that there was a chemical reaction. And in cup number three, we know there was a chemical reaction. But in cup number two, we are uncertain. So the chemical reaction is unknown in cup number two. Now, which substances reacted to form a gas? In cup number one, it was the calcium chloride. Baking soda. And water. And in cup number three, it was baking soda, citric acid, and water. Which substances reacted to form a precipitate? And that was only in cup number one with the calcium chloride. baking soda, and water. So let's go back to our focus question. What is the effect of mixing two substances with water? Now, all three of these we made mixtures. Two of them made solutions because they're clear and transparent. This one um, made a, a solution on top of a precipitate. And two of these cups we know had a chemical reaction because both of them had bubbling and fizzing. So report back to your teacher and tell them the difference between a mixture, a solution, and a chemical reaction. I hope you liked our investigation. Until next time, have a great day.